We spent a long time, 18 months maybe, looking around for an airplane. There were three of us in the group that were looking to buy an airplane. Uh, through that process, one other guy dropped out. Uh, we went down to the States. We decided that the uh, Nanchang CJ6A was the airplane for us. We looked at two or three. We flew a couple uh, and um, couldn't really find anything. And then we found uh, that the company out in, uh, in Victoria, Victoria Air Maintenance, were importing uh, these airplanes directly from China. So uh, we put our name down and uh, we were lucky enough to uh, get the pick of uh, a, a new bunch of six that arrived in containers, uh, minus wings, uh, with an old, really crappy Chinese paint job that had been put on with a roller. Uh, um, lead paint, no less. Lead paint. Lead paint. Yeah, mm -hmm. lead paint. Yeah. And, uh, and then uh, I guess we went over there and took a look. Yeah, we, uh, we took a look, had it inspected, um, and decided, uh, yeah, this is going to be for us. So we purchased it. Um, neither one of us had any experience in flying a high-performance radial engine airplane, so a friend of ours um, was uh, conscripted to uh, fly it back uh, across the pond uh, to, at that time, it was Boundary Bay. So we uh, flew it there, and um, uh, Peter Herzig is his name. Peter gave us uh, amazing instruction on the airplane and checked us out. And uh, the, the plane, as you can see, is uh, it's got a, about a seven degree high, uh, dihedral on it. Very docile plane. To fly. Um, hard to taxi. That's probably the yeah, hardest thing about this airplane. Say. Maybe Jeff would agree. Yeah. Uh, yeah. First time I, uh, I got in the airplane with our instructor, uh, he asked me to do a perfect 360 to the left. And I did. I did a perfect 360. It went to the right. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I had full left everything, it still went to the right. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of a bear to, uh, to, to taxi until you get used to the airplane. But once you're in the air, then that's, it's, it's easy. It's, uh, the way we got it for about a year. And then uh, over the winter, we uh, tore everything apart, wings off, tail off, uh, everything, and uh, stripped the paint um, uh, paint shop in Langley um, and had it totally restored from the ground up. And that took the better part of the winter. It was ready to fly uh, with the paint pretty much still almost wet uh, to Oshkosh in 2008. 2008 was the 50th anniversary of the Nanchang um, introduction and uh, so we flew to uh, to Oshkosh that year and there was about 70 uh, Nanchangs uh, at that particular event and we were fortunate enough to win best in show so that was uh, that was a great honor. An interesting aspect however about uh, stripping all the paint off uh, was once we started doing that uh, we realized that before the uh, Chinese uh, army had released the aircraft for sale they painted over it with this, with this lead-based paint. So once this started to come off, we saw all the original Chinese markings still underneath that paint. So what Brian and I did very meticulously, we took photographs, measurements of where, where all the markings were, including all the tail numbers and the nose numbers, and we had it repainted in exactly the same way that it was when it was actually in, uh, in service in China. That took, uh, as Brian said, the best part of the winter, really. Wow. And uh, once, once it came out of the paint shop, we flew it for a little while, and then we decided to have the interior painted, and we had the interior painted. And as Brian says, the paint was still literally wet as we were flying to Oshkosh in, uh, in 2008. You have to have a couple of instruments changed. The yeah. uh, altimeter and uh, airspeed indicator has to be changed uh, prior to Transport Canada certifying the airplane. Um, one of the other funny things is that uh, we bought some brand new seat belts for the airplane. The old seat belts were just completely worn out. However, Transport Canada told us that we had to leave the old seat belts in because they are the original seat belts. So we had to leave those in. New <laughs> seats in. We had uh, new seats uh, custom made for the plane, and uh, that was great. So uh, that was it. That kind of put the finishing touches on it, and uh, it was an awesome plane to fly. Got parachutes, and uh, um, I, I did a I did a parachute course and a parachute jump, so I would know what that experience was like. Um, we had a we had an arrangement, whereas if we had an engine fire, I would jump out, and Brian would try and save the airplane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I just uh, when that happens, it belongs to the insurance company. So, uh, so we had a lot of fun with the airplane. Uh, we went to Oshkosh twice in the airplane. We used to go down to the states and and uh, participate in a lot of fly-ins and. Uh, not really air shows, but we would we would put on demos. We did formation flying. We did a little bit of aerobatic flying, not anywhere near as much as the level that Jeff's now up to. 
So we had a lot of fun with it. Um, yeah. and, uh, it's a showstopper. Um, yeah. every, everywhere we went, it definitely attracted attention. So it was a fun plane to fly, fun, fun plane to, uh, to show off, and uh, we met a lot of new friends along the way and had some great experiences. By this time, and we knew Jeff loved the airplane, and uh, it was kind of nice to, to you know pass that baton on to Jeff, and uh, we still flew a little bit, and occasionally still do, with Jeff. Um, so no, it was great, and it was great also to see the airplane stay in Canada. A lot of these will go down to the states, so it was it was great to see it here, and it, it was in the original hangar that we had when we owned the airplane, um, and. Uh, yeah, no, that was good. Yeah. There was definitely a period of withdrawal. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, but uh, eventually that wore off, and uh, Pete and I uh, went into partnership on a decathlon. So we're flying tailwheel now and um, enjoying that a lot. So. Yeah. It is nice to get in an airplane, press a button and go, as opposed to you've seen the walk around yeah. on this one, right? So, yeah. yeah. yeah.